Well, hello there, friends. What is going on? Life Nuggets 160 is up in the house. And I want to talk to you. And I need to make myself a note. Uh, right here. Anyway, I've had a lot of stuff uh, in my spirit. Of course, my Life Nuggets, I try to always, oops, keep them encouraging and uh, edifying out of 1 Corinthians 14, 3, we go through that grid to edify, build up, and encourage, you know, the saints, hallelujah, and to bless people. I try to stay away from, uh, you know, uh, controversial stuff or, or stuff that might get people, you know, mad one way or the other simply because I'm here to encourage. That is my gift to encourage, so that's what I try to stick to. But I do know the word. I do know some things going on in the world. And so I just want to talk about two or three things. What's up, Dave? Proud of you. Hey, Miss Amy. Love you, too. I'm proud of these two guys, David Stewart, Amy Brunson. On fire for the Lord. God saved them, set them free. Glory to God. It's exciting to watch what God is doing in and through their lives. And just looking for great things ahead for them. Anyway, just like you too. But in Ephesians 6, 12, it says that we don't battle flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and world rulers of the present darkness and spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Now, the Bible says in John 10, 10, and I'm setting this up, that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Hang on to that now. The thief comes but to do nothing, if I say to do nothing, but to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to bring life and bring it more abundantly or bring it to more completion or bring it to, uh, that you might live it to the full. And so you look around, you have to ask yourself a question. Uh, this is not political. Okay, this is not a political nugget. You have to ask if it steals, if it kills, if it destroys, well, then it's not God, my friends. It's not good wisdom, and it's certainly the devil. When you see stealing, killing, and destroying, you know Satan's at work, the enemy's at work. The principalities and the powers and the world rulers of the present darkness and the spiritual forces of evil and the heavenly realms, they work through people. They work through people, though they may be very sincere, if, they're, if their uh, foundation is not built on the apostles and prophets and Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone, if their foundation is not built on truth, even though they're sincere, they're sincerely wrong. And they can bring down a nation, they can bring down a family, it can bring down a marriage, it can, it can break up, it can destroy a church, it can uh, you know, steal money from a business, it can cause friction, it can cause division. You know, the enemy seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And he works through people's hurts and wounds. Uh, he operates that way, through unforgiveness, through through people who think they're the victims or they're entitled or whatever. The evil one works through these things to tear at the fabric of a, of, a, of a church, a business, a marriage, a family, and a nation. But the Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Can I get an amen? So I just want to, uh, there's a couple of things too that hit me. So I've been, I've been thinking, you know, in World War II, all the way through Reagan, uh, our grandparents, many of our grandparents and great-grandparents fought in World War II, died in World War II, and even in the Korean War, fought in Vietnam, sacrificed much, sacrificed their lives, gave sacrificially so that America, for example, whether you're what color you are, doesn't matter what denomination, you know, what party you're from, yada, yada, that we could be free. And they fought communism and they fought socialism. And when Reagan said, Gorbachev, tear down this wall, 
I'm telling you, the floodgates was open and the prayers of God's people. And because that generation stood up to oppose socialism and oppose communism and oppose these things that were evil, I want to tell you, socialism is evil. Communism is too. They're really, uh, even in a magazine, what prompted this, in a Teen Vogue magazine, they are now honoring Karl Marx and Lenin, telling what great people they were, yet they left out the part where they killed 65 million people. And Russia ended up bankrupt, so did China. Cuba, <laughs> the people make 20 or $30 a month. They're not talking to you about that. Now our universities are full. We defeated communism and socialism overseas, but now the socialists have invaded and taken over academia in the colleges and universities, and they're teaching our young people, check this out now, uh, that communism is good, socialism is good, and anybody who opposes that is a white racist, a bigot, and on and on the story goes. Now, my friends, let me tell you, that is the evil one trying to work through uh, people who have the wrong ideology to bring down this nation. And I'm telling you, they'll come after you and me eventually. So they're hell-bent on this now. And you can see it, but they've never been to Cuba They've never been to a communist nation where people are broke, busted, and disgusted. And so the evil one uh, is, is working. But, if I say but, the, the, God put Trump in office to give America a space of time and to thwart what the evil one was trying to do. He stopped Kerry in the year 2000. He stopped Hillary last in 2016 because we would be headed to a point of no return in socialism and, and we know what it would have been terrible so i'm not this is not political i'm telling you when people's ideology is wrong and and they're passionate it only took about twenty thousand uh people with lenin communist to take over the russian dynasty 20,000 people who were passionate took down an entire nation in New York City years back. 81 Black Panthers held New York City hostage. Now, you got to ask yourself a question. How can 81 people hold New York City hostage? Well, I think the big deal is it's fear, cowardice, and they're just afraid to not do anything. Look at Israel the other day. They blew out those people trying to get in. You know what? You got to be tough. So you have to be tough in your life against the devil. You have to stand on righteous principles. You have to stand on the word of God. And I'm telling you, and it hit me. This is why I'm saying all this. It hit me the other day. Our biggest battle is not going to be, you know, Russia's come to court toward capitalism. China has come toward capitalism. Cuba and them want to. They're, they're you know, they're way behind, but they're going to get there. And here's the deal: is we are going to have to, or or our, our, our generation before us will roll over in their grave. They fought with weapons of war. We simply have to fight with prayer, and I think we're winning because God is using Trump and using this administration, amen, uh, and blessing, amen, and helping our nation. There's a revival in the economy, a revival in the military. There's coming revival to the church, but we have a responsibility. I'm telling you, the evil one will come out and these uh, come out to try to stop what God is doing. But I was reminded in the judges how in judges, Israel would sin, mess up, get in bondage, God would raise up a judge. They'd live in peace and prosperity for a while. They'd sin again. The next generation would come. They would fall by the wayside. God would have to raise up a judge when the people of God cried out. And I think God did that with Reagan, and he did that again with Trump. 
So church, if my people, say if my people, if my people, I'm talking to African Americans, I'm talking to Hispanics, I'm talking to people who love this nation, who love the Lord, who love the church. And again, this is not political. This is praying and seeking God's face and asking him to continually bless this nation. I believe he's doing it. I believe he's answering our prayers. And we will see a mighty move. But we can't rest on our laurels. And we can't half step. But we've got to pray up, show up, vote up, and stop this socialist, communist, uh, advance in our own country and it's coming again through universities through the news media and the like so I just want to alert and give a prophetic update and here's what the Lord spoke to me too that he who is holding it back in first Thessalonians they were talking about oh the day of the Lord's come the day of the Lord's come and Paul had to come in and say no the day of the Lord hadn't come but he who is holding it back will continue to do so until he is taken out of the way. Who is he? Well, it's the Holy Spirit in the church who is holding back lawlessness, amen, until he is taken out of the way. My friends, that's you and me. Hallelujah. It's our judgment begins at the house of God. And so, if I say so, it's our job to seek the Lord, to pray, uh, to live as holy and righteously as we can, to speak up and show up. Look, it's a spirit of fear and control through a small group of people that can rule the masses. So you have to stay up, be filled up, be worded up, word up, amen, and stand up and be alert because the enemy is seeking to take down the nation take down the church, and come against Israel. But if we'll pray for the peace of Jerusalem, one of the reasons God is blessing is because Trump is standing with Israel. Many of us want that. And I'm telling you, you better watch out. I had a thought the other day, too. Putin better boogie away from Iran. If I was Putin, I'd run so far away from Iran. Man, I'd get my folk out of there. Man, I'm telling you. You don't want to be around that mess, Putin. So anyway... God is good. Blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord. He who is holding it back will continue to do so until he's taken out of the way. That's us. So we got to stand, be alert, teach our children, spread the good news. And I'm telling you, get out there and vote and be, be accountable. Be there. Be present. And keep on praying. It's working you know, Dutch Sheet said at the first part of the year, the heavens are open and we now have air superiority. And like Trump said the other day, you know, we've made a lot of advances, but we can't rest on our laurels. And that's why I'm doing this nugget. Nugget 160 to say, be sober minded, be alert, check out the news. We have a part to pray. I love America. I, I love Jesus and the church in America. And I just wanted you to know what the evil one is trying to do through ill-advised, uninformed, and ignorant people in academia, the news media, and our young people. So anyway, be blessed, be encouraged, because if my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then the Lord said, I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive the sin and I'll heal the land. My friend, we, we're not battling flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Amen. And if we'll stand up, God will fight the battle. God will send the angels. God will destroy the, amen, destroy the attacks and bring down on their own heads what the enemy is trying to do to America and God's people in Israel. But it's not going to work. Say it's not going to work. Why is that? Because we're going to pray. We're going to keep blessing Israel. We're going to keep giving. We're going to keep sowing. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep flowing. We're going to keep showing. And we're going to keep voting. 
if they can go over there with guns and give their lives in World War II and in Korea, the least we can do, just for your grandparents' sake, the least you can do is get up and go vote and keep praying. Can I get an amen? Hey, Morgan. Hey, Mal. What's up? Hey, Linda. Anyway, that's my prophetic update. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Keep on believing, keep on praising, keep on worshiping, keep on giving, keep on going, keep on sowing, keep on flowing, and keep on being God's people. I'm telling you, if my people, the devil will be defeated in Jesus' name. Well, y'all be blessed. I'm heading to church. Praise God. It's going to be an awesome night. Y'all be blessed. Amen. Been in the studio getting some more music together. I mean, I'll have that out pretty soon. The book's being published soon. Anyway, God is good. I'm doing my part. Let's do it together, guys. And let's see God pour out his spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters are prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream divinely suggested dreams. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's exciting to serve the Lord. I'm out. Peace out from Life Nuggets. That's it for the day. Shalom.